and gentlemen, how you doing today? Okay, my name is Abirola Oluwa Ferrami Ashamu. Shamu. A very quick one. Okay, last week we were opportunity to travel to the United Kingdom, uh, whereby we met um, with the CEO Pi Radius. You know, we were opportunity to have a, an interview session with him. And I really do not want to tell you how the interview went down. You've got to see for yourself. Don't go anywhere because it promises to be fun today. All right, be right back. Can we please meet you? Oh, my name is Solomon uh, Onolapo. Okay, um, a short biography of you too. Um, it's, uh, uh, I'm a I'm a um, entrepreneur. I would say um, I own an online radio station um, in Manchester uh, called Pi Radio. Um, so it's an internet radio that um, a platform for young people. So in emergency uh, emerging mus musicians, DJs. Um, just creatives and stuff like that, yeah. How did you come about having a radio station in the UK? That's huge, man. You know, as kids we do, they overplay and cause trouble or whatever like that. So my job is to kind of engage those kind of kids, so providing, you know, things for them to do, whether it's teaching them music, um, dance classes, just anything that you take them away from, you know, any over or something, all those kind of things, you know, you get. So, yeah, so that's my main work. So, for so many years, we're doing the music, and then the kids are always asking, Oh, so we've done the music, what happens next? What do we do after the music? What happens to our music? And, you know, and when you're working with kids, their music is not as good as a professional person yet. So, the local radio station will not really play the songs because it's not like, uh, you know, it's not. Excuse me, it's not there. So then we thought, okay, why don't we just start our own um, internet radio station so you guys can come in. When we've made the song, you can play the song on the radio. The kids can interview each other, you know, all the local DJs to kind of have a platform to kind of, you know, practice and showcase their music. Um, and then we just, we had a room in our office, microphone, we had the microphone already and our good, you know, good, good how to do it, you know, um, spoke to a few of our radio stations around and yeah, we just, we just started, you know, it was that, it was that easy. So just go on YouTube, you find out what you need to do. And yeah, and that's, yeah, that, that, that's basically how the radio station started. How many followers do you have? Um, your personal, um, um, followers and, um, the radio. Um, so we recently, um, eight ten 10 K like followers on, on Instagram, just literally like just like this week. So with that, which is really good. Um, but the radio station itself, um, maybe we get maybe about two to 3,000 people that listen every week, um, depending on what guests we have. So if we have, you know, like an up and coming artist that has a bit of, you know, um, popularity or whatnot, then loads of their people will tune into the radio to, you know, to see that. Um, so yeah, so it just depends, you know, it depends, it depends on what, what is going on really, because there's so many competition, you know, with all the main radio stations, they have your Drakes, your Nicki Minaj and all these big superstars that come, you know, to their station. So, and because they, um, FM or, you know, radio, people can listen to them in their car. So because we're internet radio, people have to kind of, we need to have something that, you know, that will entice them to come and you know and listen to us kind of thing so so yes well around two to three k shall we get every week that that listen to us here okay um i would like to talk about funding now how do you raise money to fund this radio it's a big project oh okay um so we get like this uh, i don't know how to that uh, i will break you up so we um depend so because of the youth work that we do those kind of work that gets the kids off the streets and stuff like that the government or the local council provide some funding for those kind of work so you write your you know application to them or oh, i need ten thousand pounds or whatever like that to do this this work maybe for this many months if they like the sign of your proposal and you tag you target the needs that they're trying to you know that they meet the thing that they're trying to achieve you know then they say okay we like the sign of that project yes it sounds affordable we'll fund it you get the money you deliver the work you know, sometimes, you know, because again, it's a, it's a new thing that, you know, that we're building. The radio station is not really funded. Um, so some of the work that we do on the streets, that part of it is funded. You know, the engagement work, but the actual radio station itself is not funded. So I fund a lot of that, you know, from my own wages and, you know, because, you know, it's something that I believe in, you know. Um, and the fact that we get, we have people that, that come here, the DJs that come here and stuff like that. It shows that we're providing, we're meeting a need, 
you know, for all this kind of up and coming DJs and stuff like that. So, and as well, some of the DJs, they pay a subscription fee. So some of them, when they come to do their show, they pay maybe 10 pounds, 20 pounds a month or so, because they know that we're not really making money like that yet. So they are willing to contribute towards the cost, the running cost of the, you know, of the station. Um, we also organize events. So we organize that concerts and, you know, small scale concerts, maybe some of them undress, some of them four, 500 people. So, so through that, we charge people, um, you know, entry fee. So then we pay the staff, pay the DJs, and then the rest of the money, we put it back into paying the running cost of the, of the building and internet and all these extra things that we have to pay for. So that's the different kind of ways that we fund the station. Um, what are your plans uh, on extending this, um, your, your radio reach, uh, maybe to Terrestria? You know what I mean by Terrestria? The AM and the FM, um, whatever. So do you have plans to extend your radio from the internet uh, radio thing? to um, Terrestria. Yeah, I think um, like my, my, my view of it is, you know, a lot of young people nowadays, everyone has their phone, you know, so most like people like the, the stats, are like people like do everything literally on their, on their mobile phones. So there are even the ones, the younger people that are driving, because our, our, say our target age, age range is like eight, sort of say 16, 16 to like 34, 35. So most of the ones that are like 18, 19 upwards that drive, they tend to drive newer cars. So their cars have DAB, DA, what they call like DAB system, it's like a digital radio basically. So our plan, we're not going AM radio because it's not old school, but it, it costs, the setup cost is a lot, but DAB is what we're gonna move to. So DAB is similar to um, FM, like terrestrial radio. So it's like most of the, these digital smart cars and everything like that. So that's what that's our, that's what we're gonna try and go for. Maybe in the next year or two, once we once we have a a solid um, schedule of shows, because at the moment we only have shows Wednesdays to Saturdays, you know, and probably from you know three p.m. in the afternoon to like ten o'clock at night. So our plan over the next of twelve months is to make sure that we have shows Monday to Monday to Sunday from maybe you know. 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock or 8 whatever like breakfast is normally like from 6 o'clock but 6 o'clock in the morning is really uh, unless you're paying people to be here nobody's gonna wake up at that time to come and do a show for free you get like you know so so we're hoping that at least maybe like 10 or 12 will broadcast from 12 you know um and then till night time so once we've kind of done that for like six months and we have a really good you know um you know sort of good um you know range of shows then we'll go for the license for the DAB license. So and that will op that will open us to millions of listenership because then everybody that's driving around, maybe by accident, they might tune into it, find it, and they like what they hear. Then they'll you know they'll keep listening. You know, so we do have a plan. But AM radio, we're not really going there. DAB is the future. You know, and obviously internet is the future. There's so many apps. We have our own radio app actually, um, which everyone can download on the App Store. Google store, all of that kind of stuff. So we've done that already. So the app is there. So it's just to kind of go DAB. But again, that will be in the next two years or so. Okay. Um, do you have plans to play local content on your radio? I mean, local content. I mean, um, I want Baba Baba Yat to join and be Bobby Siri, Baba Sonyadi, on on this platform because I I feel it's it's, it's a good long way on your radio. Yeah, I know. Um, okay, so what, what I was saying to you before that, I have an Instagram that's like um, Pyridoy Lagos, you know, even though I was thinking saying oh, like Pyridoy Bad and all those kind of things up already. So part of the plan, um, you know, was we can get maybe like students, because my target, our target audience really are sort of like students, you know, so like 16 to like 34 year old, you know, that student, you're relatively still young people and stuff like that, you know, so part of a plan my plan before was to you know take some equipment to maybe Lagos or about or whatever like that and then have like a small studio where people can actually create shows because the system that we use you know because it's internet radio anybody can feed into the into the station so what we broadcast you get so say um like mondays and sundays that we don't do anything over here in manchester we could have some um some shows that have been done live in Ibadan, Lagos, anywhere in Nigeria that can feed into the into the schedule. So that way, what you're talking about, playing those kind of traditional music and stuff like that. So people in Ibadan, Lagos can still create those kind of content for us. So, you know, so all the 
mommies and aunties, you know, that are here. They could like, oh, it's on Sunday. Ah, yeah, I'm going to listen to Pyrido, all this kind of So definitely we have, we have plans. We have plans for doing stuff like that, you know. Um, uh, again, you know, like I said, it doesn't cost a lot to set up. But once, uh, just because I'm not on ground in, in Nigeria like that very often, so I've not been able to kind of touch base with people that, that do things like that. But obviously now I've met yourself, so maybe it's something that we can, you know, talk about. Um, you know, like set something up in the bad or something like that, you know, and then you can maybe Mondays or Sundays we can have people doing those kind of playing those kind of old, you know music and even new talents that are doing you know Afro beats and rap and you know because obviously we play a lot of rap music here and hip hop here. I'm sure there's a bunch of Nigerian young people that are doing those kind of music too that would be great for them to feed into what we're doing. We'll share the stuff. They'll share other people's, you know, song from, you know, UK here in Nigeria too and things like that. So definitely that's something that, you know, we have plans, um, you know, doing like, like pretty, pretty soon as well. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's lovely. That's lovely. All right. Um, I know a bit of radio stations that uh, you, 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 they have the same advantage as TV too, uh, because when they do this online radio thing in uh, the, make sure they stream live. So uh, people can get to watch what they do uh, in the studio, which means that it's, they, they are in, into two in one broadcasting. Okay. Do you also have plans to do, um, uh, to do the same, you know, like having your, your radio program at the same time still stream live? Yeah, we do. We do that already. Um, we have a we have a Facebook page which is very active. So most of the shows, as we're as we're streaming through the app and through our website, we're doing Facebook live stream as well. So people can easily, um, you know, watch what's going on. We have a YouTube channel which you know we then take um, clips of the interviews or freestyles. You know, we put those on the YouTube channel as well. On our Instagram also, we make sure we put pictures and videos from the show on there because everyone's like everyone's on their Instagram a lot nowadays. So the IGTV kind of thing that's quite popular now as well. So we make sure we we'll chop up the interviews, maybe like five six minutes of it. We will put on IGTV too. So like all that stuff is literally across everywhere, Twitter, all of that. So you know you can see everything that we're doing in the station, the events, everything. It's every it's literally everywhere. Oh, um, I would like to talk about the challenges uh, you're facing in this, um, your own uh, little industry. Um, what are the challenges you're facing? I mean, can you tell us a bit? Um, it's, I guess it's fighting for attention, you know, because, you know, um, radio, TV, you, what, what, what we're selling really, you're, you're, trying, you're buying people's attention, you know, with your, with your TV show, you want to be, you understand you you want people's attention you want people to watch your show and because there's so many there's like a lot of things that are happening you know in the world on the tv you have netflix that everybody's on there you have instagram everybody's on there so you know you're trying to fight for people's attention you know so it's us always thinking of ways to come up with content that will get people to watch us instead of watching other people or watch us as well as they watch show you get because it's not like it's not like oh I only watch um, this station, I only listen to this radio, everybody listens to like everything now. So if your content is good, people will, even, even, if, you, even if you have a station in Manchester, somebody from Argentina or some far Asia, you know, East country or whatever like that can still find it because of the power of the internet. So it's, but if the content is good enough, anybody will discover you, you know, so it's always trying to find, find we're constantly looking for ways to create content, you know, that will entice people and make you know things that people can people want to share because nowadays well, it's not just creating the content it needs to have a factor of oh why should i share it is it funny oh is it uh is it is it you know some uh, people like to share you know violent stuff and things like that you know so okay is it violent but not violent enough that instagram will block you mm -hmm. you get because you have to kind of be you have to be strategic about it as well so so yeah, so that's so that's the main. I guess that, that's the main challenge really is you know coming up with content that will entice people and make them want to talk about stuff and you know all those kind of things. So that's the main. Challenge. Okay, now let's go back home. Jack Akpada, silly. Emma Karo could be at the request to go to UK. We Nigeria. I want big boys. I want Nigeria. They're whole lot of big boys. As a matter of fact, 
in Nigeria that 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 that, that really um, want to show interest in what you do, um, going to partnering with you. Um, if you're open to partnership, so are you open to partnership? If guys are willing to come on the on this project and say, guys, let's work together now. If you did, you came me a day in Nigeria, we could work together now. How far? I mean, are you ready to jump on any partnership with any of these people if they show interest? Of course, of course, m most definitely. Like you know, that's it's always good. Um, that's what I said before that you can't just go somewhere and just set up. Yeah, you can set like I said, set getting the equipment and going there is not is not the is not the problem. But if you go to a new a new place that you don't really know anybody, you have to fight for attending. But if you have somebody that has the money and has the influence, you know they can easily connect you. Oh, uh, Olami, this is my friend. Uh, I beg my guy. This my brother setting this thing up. Oh, please talk to him. You know, someone like Alami Day being a guest on your on your radio station the first two months of opening. You know, all of the YBNL two people will join. You know, from there, okay, what 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 are these people doing? They'll bring them more. You understand? So, but if you don't have that initial sort of introduction to to the entertainment thing, it's not like it doesn't. You just you just be struggling, struggling, struggling. Yes, you, you might start with you know the up and coming artists and stuff like that. But day two would not really trust you until they see somebody that that you know that's popping on your channel then everybody wants to you know everybody wants to jump on a moving car you get when the car is stationary nobody's like the car's not going anywhere i beg let's leave it but when they see that okay things are actually moving and it's the same in any in any country we have the same challenges there as well you know so in nigeria anybody that has money that you want to you want to throw not not necessarily money but if you have the influence yeah. but influence comes with money so if you have the influence and you want to have a conversation definitely i'm open to you know i'm open to to the conversation okay, okay so if you're open to um such a um, deal can you just um, tell us your um social media and just now so they can start uh, getting in touch with you so it's just pi radio so p-i-e r a d i o u k so pi radio uk for the for the uk one then Pi Radio Lagos for the Lagos Across one. All platforms. Yeah, yeah, I got. IG, yeah, yeah, yeah. As well. Everywhere. Just type. Once you type in, once you go on YouTube, type in Pi Radio. It will literally will come up. Um, you, you can go on our website as well, www.piradio.co.uk. So I even registered the domain piradio.ng.com or something like that. I can't remember. So you can, yes, yeah, so you can see that. Like, uh, um, I, you know, I was like when I came back last year, I was like really proactive about, you know. Uh, let's let's go back and say you know but sometimes you know if once you need to kind of you need to know what's going on you can't just wake up and just set up anything anything like that you, know, you need to kind of know what's going on so definitely you know is in is in our plans to to come to 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 um lagos come to Biden, but we really want to target students okay um thank you very much for your time it's a great show too What up, what up, what up, what up, people? And you're welcome back to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that piece of interview with the CEO Fire Radius. It was fun, right? Bet you it was fun. Okay, um, this is all we have for you for today. Um, you can get across the street number right at the bottom of your screen right now if you have anything to discuss with us. And I promise you, uh, we're going to be giving you interview from young entrepreneurs all across the world. It's fun. Stay with me. My name is Abirola. Shadow.